Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in the Cyclist Tactics with our career mode playthrough with Old Empire Racing. Our Achanan superstars that are very far from being superstars uh, right now. And uh, let's just continue on there uh, and we shall see what is coming up next. We had a very good first month placing uh, well in the uh, results there for the rolling hills race uh, fourth was it but today is a different day and uh, also a different month because today is it's time to race the uh, arrow of timur and that race is a um, flat ish uh, individual time trial uh, a decently long one hmm with a bit of downhill a little bit of a kicker there and otherwise flat yeah, it might not be perfect for us, but I think we have a pretty decent shot at it. And we do have our own rider, Vladimir Antonov. Uh, he is going to uh, tackle this one with a major fitness peak. So I'm expecting some results right there, but we have a bit of an adversary here in fast road deliveries. They are currently 11th, ranked 11th. That being said, there are 24 pro teams. Yes, exactly. I, I, I hear you. <laughs> that, that is uh, not good. <laughs> not good for us, at least. But we, we shall see how that goes. Time trials are pretty easy and fast, so we will very, very likely get through the Weisshorn challenge as well, where Pavel Gusev, our flat rider, is on a fitness peak. Does that help? Uh, probably not. But... How how many good right? Oh, right. Vista Watches team is on there, and they are eighth at the moment. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Not so great. But now let's get to the monthly checklist. We have to do a scouting and a shortlisting action. And um, what do we want to scout for right now? I think we need some decent climbers to take on to our team because it can't continue like this forever. Uh, aptitude in climbing, and um, if we scout that in Hedvesia, not only do we have the highest chance of getting one that actually can climb, but also we do get a bonus to uh, energy per turn, but we are sacrificing one point in um, attack per turn for the scouted rider. So, usually not too bad. Usually not too bad. We could look for something else for instance uh, less recovery but more attack per turn or more energy per turn but less energy that's probably not great for a mountain rider though <laughs> so let's let's go with him uh, there we have it oh yeah oh yes oh yes not wow okay that is good stuff 97 percent towards the next level that means we have basically a um, a free level up in this one. That is good stuff. All right, and for recovery, yeah, that's pretty high. It's a little too high for that early on, but sure doesn't help. Uh, that doesn't um, doesn't hurt in any tours. So Frank Weiss, I think we're going to shortlist you. The mechanics here are the following: you shortlist a rider. And he is being put onto your shortlist here, where you can have um, up to eight riders. And that list will be full at the end of the season. And then at the start of the next season, um, these are the riders that you can put onto your team. Very simple and straightforward. Uh, I, I quite like that system. It's uh, very intuitive. So, uh, no, no weird contract negotiations or whatever. Uh, that f often feel a little meh, anyways, at least in the manager games that I've played. So, uh, I think we are done. I think we are ready. Let's just quickly check out our team here. Uh, not, not this one. Uh, let's check out how far they have come. So, 42% for Vladimir uh, in level up. And Pavel Gusev is at 36%. Let's see what it is after our little time trial. First, we are going to simulate a few races. Steinway Classic. This iteration looks like it's very hard in this sector there, and then towards the end, not so much. Anyway, Tim Hartman was the uh, favorite, and he didn't pull it off. Instead, it was more favoring 
The uh, pure flat riders. Yeah, the cobbles weren't far enough to the end here. Uh, Tim Hartman is the perfect guy for the job when uh, when the cobbles are right before the finish. But anyway, uh, let's continue on here. Uh, free country challenge. This is one of those tours. Uh, it's a pretty tough one, even though it's just a seven stager. And the Lewin Airways taking that one. This is quite the tour. It's a um, is it a, a mixed? I think it's a mixed one. Yes, probably a mixed mixed event. And this is the only tour that it has the archetype of heavy hilly cobbled. <laughs> like, just imagine the Flandern tour, uh, Flandern Rund, the, the classic, but that as a tour. Quite like that race. Always very dynamic. Uh, Hills and Valley, amateur little race. And now we are getting started on the arrow. So let's get it over with. Uh, Valentin Kuzmin. Yes, he is a beast. Level 8 rider. Ouch. Old Empire Racing. There we are. And oh, we are the second best team <laughs> of those starting here. Channel 69 Cycling with zero points. As are all the others there. The Automation Cycling Team. Well, fuck you guys. You, you are kind of shit. Uh, best rider for this job... Supposedly is Jesse Morgan, who uh, has no skills. <laughs> Seems about right. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh, Vladimir Antonov. Look at that. Isn't isn't he beautiful? He is among the favorites. Let's see if that actually holds true. Let's start the race. All right, Pavel Gusev is going first. Oh shit. Okay. This one is going to be decided by whoever reaches that downhill in the first move. That will be big. That's a four node advantage you get right there. Yeah, you really gotta hammer it though. Um, so Pavel, and Pavel is really fast too, so I don't think any of our riders will be able to reach that one. All right, what are the things that we need to be thinking about? Um, how we land on the next turn is quite important. So, um, for Pavel here, who has 20 attack points, so we can spend a few. If this takes about-ish four turns, let's see, this is a move that is 23. Yeah, with this he needs more than four turns. So if we only spend like four or so attack points, that's fine. Oh, and he's going to lose one, uh, one energy per turn already. So if we move to here and then to there, then that is pretty efficient. Um, so let's do that. Let's do that. That spends seven of our attack points. And the same here, because we can't really get there. I really hope we can reach this one just about with Valentin. That would be great. So let's check him out. Oh, oh okay. Well, we can even save some more there if we wanted to. Or is it... I think here it is viable. Ah, he doesn't have enough attack points. Um, he needs to get to the bottom of this. Can he, from there, reach to there? No, not quite, but he can jump it then. Yeah, okay. That gets him pretty far from there. Okay, so uh, let's use those wisely. Um, if we move to here, or maybe he can actually reach the bottom of the climb from there. Not quite. It doesn't it doesn't really matter, though. Because uh, we are going to get this penalty anyway. So I'm going for the long haul here. And moving short there. Planning it out like this. And now Dennis... Oh, so close! He is also so damn close! No! <laughs> no! Oh, this is terrible. Um, but we do get a plus two across the downhill terrain. So if I land short here, it doesn't really matter. I can move pretty well over this terrain and I do want to go a little bit farther. There, there we go. Now, yes, yes, Vlad, Vlad the, the Antonov man can actually reach it. He is going to be wasted afterwards. Oh, ooh, this is potentially quite bad. But so this gives us an advantage of four nodes. So I think I need to take it. Yeah, this even though this is a max attack and will lower our max attack, 
We need to move there. This is too much of an advantage to pass on. All right, from now it should be a bit more straightforward to figure out what's going on. Vlad is going out and... Oh, no. No, that's not a good move. Um, because we can't... Can't really get there. We need to get to the bottom of the climb after all. So if I use no attack points, then I only use two there, which is fine. So let's use one and one. It's not optimal. But, um, so maybe this was not actually necessary. Because you can't actually get a good landing position here anyway. Hmm, alright. Um, here we go with that move that we had planned out already. That was a good one. And now to the bottom of the slope. And to the bottom of the slope. Oh, can we reach from there? No, we wanted to go a little farther. Yeah, yeah, we need to go there. That's fine. All right, there we have that. Wow, we e who's this? We're even overtaking him. He has plenty of resources still though. So yeah, we're going there. Okay, looking good so far. Oh yeah, they're joining us there. Now three riders are waiting. Um, I think with him, oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool, we can go one max out. We can go one max out because when he loses one attack point per turn, then, well, he will only have left over five anyway. So 11 minus six is five, and then we're five five, so we can make a big move towards the end anyway. So let's uh, move up there. And then, that was good stuff. Um, we can get, oh yeah, he doesn't look quite as strong here. Let's move there. And then we have Pavel. Pavel is looking quite weak. Um, how about we just move there? Fine. Okay. Now, whew, move short here. Or, no, wait a second. Should we move short there? This, uh, it's basically neither here nor there. Um, let's see. No. Do we want to stay efficient? Um, 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 we do have plenty more attack points. That's not what is limiting us. It was the terrain that was um, destroying our pacing strategies. <laughs> or oh, the pacing strategy which is called uh, just pedal to the metal. Uh, yeah, that's not the best strategy necessarily. So if we land here, we have one further movement. But if we land here, we're closer to the finish. I think I'm going closer to the finish. Oh, and someone is just ahead of me. Oh, that's Valentin. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we want to land as close to the finish as possible there as well, especially when it's a good node. Uh, let's do the same thing here. He will be able to pass the finish, but I don't think that's enough for top 10. And we are across the line in hopefully second place. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Nice. No, ooh, ooh, ooh. De Dennis is still fifth. Oh, that's not bad. That's really not bad. He can't even cross the line on that. Uh, yeah. This is looking solid. So, in the end, we made second and seventh. And fifth as well. Yeah, that was a very good result, actually. Very nice. The competition wasn't the strongest, that's for sure. But Vlad, Vladimir, was getting close to Valentin. Crazy level eight bastard from Fast Road Deliveries. Look how they stacked it. First, sixth, and eighth. Yeah, pretty solid. And race summary. That is um, a, a lot of prestige. We are now sitting at 272. So um, we no longer have to think about getting out of pathetic funding. We now have to think about how high can we get in the league. So this is uh, looking very good. Uh, next month, please. Also, this might have just given us a level up. It sure looks like it. Let's do that first then. So we have Vladimir Antonov is now level 3. What do we want to give him? Should we make him the, the, the super attack monster? Or rather give him a little bit more energy? I think the latter. That is what we were aiming for, wasn't it? Yeah, that makes sense. A bit more energy to be more compatible to non-TT events. 
That should be fantastic. No one else has leveled up, but we can check out our uh, team right here. 60, well, 86 percent and 65 percent. Those two are going to level pretty shortly. And once again, I believe we should be looking for a, a Hitvesian Climber. And do we get anyone that is decent? 5-5, five, five, but he has so low energy per turn. And quite low attack as well. This is not looking good. Then i rather take someone with a bit of talent. Uh, how about Frank Albrecht? He's a solid climber. So what is up next? Well, the Weisshorn Challenge is up next. And we are against a few of the big, big name teams. First, let's take a look at where we are in the standings. Uh, wow, we didn't have to scroll that far. And this is still showing the wrong number. Uh, this is a little bug. This is showing your sponsor prestige points at the moment instead of the actual ones. So this is multiplied down by whatever sponsor um, focus was on that race. And that gives you the wrong number. But the, <laughs> the overall list is sorted correctly according to the correct number. So we know we are currently in 17th. And if we look here... Oh no, look at that. that oh, Vista watches... You bastards! That amateur team already has 700 points. Yeah, so we're not even close to the top two, which we would need in order to um, be promoted on our first season. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So, anything to take into account? Apart from hopefully not dying too badly. Uh, I don't think Justin Gray will be too, doing too well because he has the minus one in Mountain. But, um, and Vladimir, of course, has his negative one in fitness. That's bad. Dennis could be good, but Pavel is looking strong for this one. He... This is a pretty short stage. He might be faring all right. Let's see. Maybe he can hang in there and get a top 10. I was getting scared. I was like, shit, Dino Lombardi is <laughs> is actually racing on our, on our race. No. It was the Farinian Masters, which he almost won. But um, Vladimir Vrolov, that's uh, his brother. That's uh, Vla Vla Vladimir's... No, it's not his brother. <laughs> uh, Kerob, you know the difference between first name and last name? No, no sorry, forgot. <laughs> Here we go. This is not his brother. Uh, maybe they were adopted by different families. Vladimir and Vladimir. Oh, and Billy King, of course Billy King. You know what? Billy King is kind of a bastard here, too. He is a... Uh, wh where do we have him? Fast Road... That is why Fast Road Deliveries is killing everyone. They have a level 10 rider, and they are sitting in amateur. <laughs> that is... That's, that's damn cheating. Yeah, Billy King is down here. He is a level 3 flat rider. Uh, no, he's a level 8 rider, but he has level 3 flat specialization, to be more accurate. Ahana Tourism is sitting there too with their level 10 rider um, Vladislav Smirnov and he is just a pure time trialer that is really powerful and here we go are we among the favorites nope nope that's a big nope um, we are still ranked 17th there so we are up to the top one of the favorite teams but certainly don't have the riders for it look at all these climbing teams here Emil Fischer Theo Walter, Le that is a level 8 rider. He is so going to nuke us. Holy shit, he's going to nuke us. Leon Schreiber, are you kidding me? Level 11 rider. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. All right, we are uh, in a big, bit of a pickle here. I, I think they will just ride straight over us. Um... Yeah, well, so I don't think I should be doing anything here. Denis Tarasov is... Uh, yeah, I think we want to hang with the peloton for this bit. All is flat here. There are no technical sections, nothing. And even this downhill here, very, very nice to tackle with the peloton. So we want to stay with the peloton. This is looking good. Ah, so beautiful. Apart from the trees growing on the fucking road. <laughs> Someone get a lumberjack. Yeah, that's that's a problem that sometimes occurs. Uh, still need to figure out why. 
But uh, yes. So uh, we just stay in the Peloton, and because there's basically no slipstream to get here, uh, we are. We can equally well stay in P1. It's fine. Oh, big attack going at the start. All right, Heinrich Roth, Dylan White. Uh, yeah, we can check out those riders in a little bit. Let's just stay up front with everyone. Oh, that's why they moved so hard there. They wanted to make the jump. Yeah, they did. Uh, this, this is decent, over the 12% section. So who's in there? Oh yeah, pretty strong, pretty strong. Pretty good. Um, and yeah. So now let's take a look. TT Expert 3, 2 Expert 5, Climber 5, Climber 3 and Rouleur 5. Good combination. Ouch, the fun begins. They, uh, the Peloton just jumped this horrid section right there. Okay, yeah, this is a pretty steep climb, by the way. Just 10%, 12%, 9%, 10%. Ouch. All right, yep, that's four attack points right there. Five attack points, almost maxed out. And now they can make the jump over, but it's costly. Fortunately, we have plenty of attack points with our guys. So now I'm going to start moving back uh, with basically everyone. Who is mm, Pavel? Nah, Vladimir. Vladimir is the one who is going to stay up front and do some work because he is pretty shafted after uh, the fitness peak last month and he can just get wasted and we'll be fine. I think I'm going to move back to P3 with everyone else and should be all right for the remainder of this flat and downhill section. Um, that peloton is not very kind, is it? They are moving hard here. Are they afraid of these SKPs? I don't think they need to be. Not quite that much. The escape group has now split on the flat. Some attacks going already because these guys were almost caught by the peloton. So the others got, got a bit of a scare. Uh, yeah? I mean, they are still pretty fresh. They could be going uh, going pretty far here. Um, but these guys, were they already dropping low? Yeah, not too bad. They were just a little lazy, I guess. All right, uh, let's continue running in the peloton, though. Okay, on the next turn, I need to move forward. Oh, yes, okay. Uh, yeah, that will be entirely possible right there. We will need to start moving forward for that climb. I don't want to be stuck behind the peloton there. That would be bad positioning. So Vladimir is already up front. He can await the uh, my, my leaders to arrive. Who's my leader today? Well, Pavel still looks decently fresh, as does Dennis. And Justin Gray, not so much. Yeah, with the minus one in mountain is not going to help him. Oh, nasty. What are they doing? Are they planning on landing there? Or are they planning on just nuking it into the climb? That would be uh, adventurous. So yeah, let's follow along. I appreciate the, it though. This it makes it very easy to um, actually get to the front here without too many sacrifices of attack points or anything. So uh, there the leaders are coming. So we timed it perfectly, it seems like. Uh, everyone to the front. Yep, there everyone is now ready to go. Let's see how bad they are nuking it here. Are they going into the climb? They are, in fact, not going into the climb. Uh, the um, difference is seven points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you would have to land at, at least here for it to be equivalent to landing there. So that is, instead of recovering to, you need to sacrifice four, four in order to move one node further. That is not worth it. So yeah, let's let's move down here. And we get one last full recovery off, as you see there. Yeah, four points and three points before we head into the climb. Lars Richter, ouch, yeah, he's looking good. Hugo Köhler, yeah, ouch, he's looking good. There are, ah, oh, there's Emil Fischer. Oh, ouch, yeah, yeah, there are so many, so many good climbers in here. This race has attracted a, a fair few, uh, actual favorites uh, yeah we are just trying to 
follow them for as long as possible and then somehow sneak in a top 10. Um, um, okay. <laughs> that is their first move. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Ouch. That, that is, uh, that is quite something. And it's, oh, it's not that far. If, if you move that far on your first move, that is, how many nodes? That is 25 nodes. Yeah, then um, the climb becomes a lot shorter. That was, that was a lot. And now Vladimir is already out of attack points. But poor you, you are going to die on these slopes. But so is everyone else on my team, from the looks of it. Pavel is still holding up the best with his uh, 10 attack points left. 3 for Justin and 9 for Dennis. So, because I don't think Vladimir will be getting any top 10, I'm just going to enable uh, auto rest for him. And now Dennis, he can still follow. That was a good move by the Peloton to there, but wow, it's aggressive. It's another 16 move, uh, from starting from Mountain. That makes it way more impressive. Pavel can follow as well. Justin, not so much. And yeah, Pavel follows. Still keeping his maximum attack in or uh, in check, but he has spent so much that that doesn't even matter anymore. We are now in an elusive group, though, that is looking like it is full of potential favorites and a few weak riders that have been helpers before. So it looks like we might be able to get a top 10 here with at least one of our riders. If the escapees don't hold up too well. That looks like a good opportunity here though. I'm, I'm going for it here. Dennis needs to attack to here because of how efficient that is. It's not too far to go either. So uh, who is he going to pull? Oh no, he would be pulling Christian Groß and Lars Richter. Oh shit. Well, that's that's a bummer. Um, should we do it? Whom are we outdoing that way? Simon Schuster and Matthew Moreau. All right. Uh, well, he's not a real threat anymore, anyway. Well, neither is Dennis, is he? So yeah, fuck it. Let's go there. All right. Um, yeah, who has followed? Christian Gross. Pavel Gusev is going to follow as well. His last few attack points. And now the Peloton is following as well. So it was the right choice. But, um, yeah. Where do we go with him? Justin Gray, he's dead. So just go into rest mode, mate. 13 riders still remaining in here. Oh, man. Oh, man. That. Oh, do we even have a chance here? Both of our riders are completely out of attack points. And Christian Gross is like, uh, what's the matter, guys? What, what, what's the matter, guys? I, I don't see any problem here. This is an easy climb for me. And then Hugo Köhler replies, yes, uh, Christian, I, I don't see either why they are struggling so much. This seems completely fine and natural. After which Lars Richter chimes in and is like, Yes, guys. I know you are. You are quite good today, though, because I my, look at look at my attack. It's al already getting quite low. I'm not used to this, so you are riding quite fast, actually. So now it is just about getting there. Let's use maximum energy. Oh, seven riders still in there. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, that is not going to be a top ten, is it? Too much power in those riders. Too much power. We're back in the Peloton now though. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, the Peloton is moving way too slow. Come on. Move. Get out of the way with your fat asses. We're going to move up though. So, <laughs> so that we can can cross the line first. And uh, there we go. Yeah. This looks like we might still be in the top 10. Are we? No, that didn't look like it. Ouch. Yeah, not much we could do there. Those guys were just way too strong for us. We finished 13th and 14th. Hmm, no more prestige points for us, but um, considering that we are a time trial and flat team, I think we did reasonably well. We got the participation trophy, not enough to level anyone up. 
Uh, let's have a quick look. 93% for Dennis and Pavel is at 72. Looking um, pretty decent. What is coming up next? We have the Rising Sun Rush and Pavel is having a major fitness peak. Oh, that could be quite something. All right, yeah, this is certainly interesting. Great, also minor fitness peak, yeah. yeah. We have a strong team for this one. And our time trialists can pull from the front um, and lead out. Yeah, looking good. Uh, I fancy my chances there, although the stage is super long. 440 is very, very long for an amateur race. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.